Mackenzie Clark um, for my speech and communications class 10, uh, 151. I'll be discussing the importance of sharks in our ecosystem. Sorry. So uh, this is important to me because in um, a Halloween day 2014, I was attacked by a tiger shark surfing in North Koala. And um, I ended up suffering what was relatively minor physical and um, mental trauma from the experience, but others aren't so fortunate. Um, but during this experience, I've reflected a lot and have been asked many questions uh, pertaining to what I feel about the dangers of sharks in the ocean and, um, and the like. So, um, I've always had a great love and appreciation for sharks before this experience and after this experience. And uh, so that's what I'd like to discuss today. Um, uh, um, so, that experience led me to research on my own. Um, what are our impacts on sharks and in association with the impacts of sharks on us. So um, if we look at the food chain, let's go back to our child uh, learning and about the importance of the food web and the food chain. We have our primary producers all the way up to our apex predators. And this is all a very fine balance. Um, sharks are at the top, they're apex predators, which means they have um, longer lives and they have less young, which means there's lower populations, which means they are much more susceptible to overfishing. And their role in the food chain is very important because it controls the population of all the other fish on the food chain down to what ends up relating to the corals and the seaweed and the phytoplankton. They keep it all in balance, which makes for a biodiverse and healthy reef system and ocean ecosystem. So um, there's still a lot we don't know about sharks. And um, like I said, they are susceptible to overfishing because of their lower populations. And depletion can um, drastically affect the biodiversity and health of the ocean. So that's why um, I'm going to discuss some of um, human practices that, um, that kind of uh, affect the population of sharks and what that might mean. Um, so first is finning. So this is a big issue. Um, this is when the fin, all the fins of an individual shark, they, they're pulled onto the boat and then the fins are cut off and then they're either stored for possible other use but usually thrown back into the ocean. And they can't survive without their fins. So they bleed out, they sink to the bottom, and they die. And so um, around 26, it's estimated around 26 to 73 million sharks are killed by uh, finning. And 98% of the shark is, goes unused because the value of the fin itself is so high and the other part of the, the shark isn't as useful. So that in combination, around 32% of open ocean sharks are threatened for extinction, and some populations have been reduced to 99% or more um, in, within the last 50 years, and this is mostly due to finning. And um, so when we look at some other numbers, um, if you look at the tourist trade, it's estimated that sharks contribute about $2 million. One shark in its lifetime can contribute upwards to $2 million um, to an ocean community just for its, the beauty, the, the tourist value. Whereas one shark is estimated at $108 if it goes to consumption. So. Um, so we have some <coughs> shark statistics here that I already went over, and then um, some pretty shocking images I find. Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't looking. 
alert. These are just many, many different sharks, and this is just one operation. And all of, mostly all of these sharks died, and only this 2% uh, of the shark actually got used. So we have to ask ourselves, what happens? Sometimes the, the leftover shark is used, it's processed and packaged and labeled and sold as meat, labeled as something else and sold as other kind of fish meat. So um, next we have culling. Culling is another, um, it, culling is actually deliberately, it's an, a deliberate attempt to reduce the population of sharks in particular um, areas, especially in Australia and some in China, to, to reduce population of sharks in attempts to reduce shark attacks. Um, so th these are drum lines. They're really set out um, with very large hooks that hook onto large predator sharks um, in attempts to lower population. But um, these are set out right outside of uh, popular beaches. Um, so the theory is reduce shark population, reduce attacks. Um, but this process, especially in uh, Australia, has created a very large outcry and protest from surfers, scientists, animal activists, and even shark attack survivors saying this isn't working, this is, um, this is killing non-threatening species, this is not reducing shark attacks. Um, it's ineffective, and another big problem is bycatch. Um, but this is sort of what we can see. Um, so there isn't a direct correlation between reduction in shark attacks and with the culling. And then we have these other practices that also affect the, the shark. We've got, um, uh, can you go back one? <laughs> We've got uh, shark nets bottom trawling, long lining, and drift netting. These are all a little bit similar, but they all involve the mass collection of fish and the mass um, occurrence of bycatch. So, um, similar, so what we have is huge nets that either swoop along the ocean or along the ocean floor and get everything in its path and that's a very common for the fishing industry um, but at the same time um, other things get trapped um, you have a mass amount of fish, you have bottom scraping um, and then so other unintended species are caught very, very often through this process. And well, even whales, sharks, unthreatening shark species, dolphins, seals, seabirds, turtles. And with, with, yeah. So this is, it, it's estimated that around 50 million per year Sharks are caught unintended. Um, some are some survive and are released, but that that get caught in these um, these nets. So um, also bottom trolling can severely damage the reef and affect the ecosystem as well. So um, some another picture of that. And so. Um, People on Facebook and stuff see these memes a lot about the dangers of sharks. And um, as we can see, mosquitoes and humans are the most uh, detrimental to our own species, where you have sharks way down here. Um, you know, sharks kill about 12 people a year, whereas we kill about 100 million sharks a year. Um, so it, it kind of gives you a perspective. Um, so what what my main thesis is is that um, I, I'm not looking. I'm not discussing this as a uh, for solutions. I'm not giving you solutions today. But I just want to raise awareness 
of um, the importance of sharks and some of the effects of irresponsible and ineffective means to reduce shark populations and the involvement of the fishing industry um, and how that can affect um, the future of our ecosystem. Far outweighing the threat to humans is the um, integral role that sharks play in maintaining a healthy and diverse uh, marine ecosystem. We can all agree that this is a pretty terrifying photo, yeah? <laughs> but I think this is equally terrifying. Yeah. Would we rather see... Sorry. Th this or this? Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.